you know, you can see from these fellows with help and with, you know, actually having access to great mentors, these people can really turn into stars. Well, first of all, one of the things we talked about today was very, it really hit home. Um, one of the fellows talked about how they thought, before actually being involved with Keystone, that it was like this super wonderful thing that very few people got to do or go to, right? And so if they got involved, it was, it was a once-in-a-lifetime event, right? Well, one of the things that I've learned is that that's not so. If you're a researcher and you do excellent work and you, and you reach out to your fellow researchers, this is something that you should be able to do a lot. And I learned that from serving on this committee, the Diversity Advisory Committee. And I would have never chosen to do this had I not been encouraged by my current mentor, Maggie. So let me talk about teams, though. That's where this comes in. One of the things we talk about in our mentoring program is teams. And we have three characteristics of a good team. One of them is good, honest communication, watch each other's backs, and no unnecessary emergencies. And so when we had that time at Socknest, you know, we, Nancy was really watching my back, and it helped a lot. And no unnecessary emergencies. <laughs> I love that. What is that yes, mean? it's great. Well, you know how students can sometimes be afraid to tell you that they think something's coming down the road that you might have to deal with. And then they don't tell you until, oh, I could be Friday night, and they call you on the phone, and, oh, I flunked genetics or something. I say, well, that feels like an unnecessary emergency to me. Tell me when you started knowing that you were having trouble in genetics. Well, I had a couple of bad tests. I said, you know, here's the deal. How do you solve this kind of problem so that I don't have these things? Well, I have to have better communication. That's right. The principles that we use allow us to, um, you know, if somebody comes in with a, something really bad, they got in trouble or something, we often say, well, that's really great, you know, <laughs> just completely unexpected, and, and that opens the door to uh, more conversation. Learn how to ask questions early on. Even if you don't know what the topic is, learn how to ask the questions so that when you get to a point where you're learning a new topic or you're learning something new, um, you're not afraid to say, I, I don't quite understand that. Could you please explain that a little bit more? And not be afraid to say it, because that little bit of understanding that you gain may just be the spark you need to push that topic forward just a little bit more to make it cutting edge. You know, you can see from these fellows that they're, um, you know, they're just at this transition point. And I mean, it's so much potential. And with, with help and with, you know, actually having access to great mentors that are career mentors for them in terms of science, uh, you know, these people can really turn into stars. And over a, a two year period, um, I've been able to see these students go from people who are afraid to ask questions into people who are um, on their way to going to graduate school and becoming researchers. And you see this maturation process over a short period, and you know that that's going to continue. And, and I, I, you know, I think Keystone's really got an opportunity now, especially with these fellows, and keeping them engaged with you to then have them gradually become speakers at the Keystone meetings, which I think will help. And so when somebody says, I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid, I go, well, what are you afraid of? Well, I'm afraid of failing my classes. Well, why are you afraid of failing your classes? Well, it's because I want to do well. Well, that's a great thing. When you run into something that looks like a failure, you immediately turn it into a teacher. And so you just keep walking on. Well, the other thing I like about serving on this committee is the fact that I get to see the up and coming stars. Uh, because we're working in the trenches, not only with undergraduates, but graduate students who are on their way to becoming postdocs. But I also get to have a, uh, a say in what some of the things are that, that Keystone may be doing in the future, specifically for these really talented, underrepresented minority students and, and uh, researchers. So to me, all, the entire thing is very rewarding. That's wonderful. They I mean, get that's, so happy. <laughs> well, it's rewarding in both directions. To me, yeah. that's what's wonderful about this entire process. Yeah, and it's fun. Woo, that you see them. <laughs>